Hi, this is Phil Stone, and this is the Phil Stone Training Series. This video is on building backlinks and link wheels. Now, building a network of links is the cornerstone of SEO. You want to be found by the search engines, you've got to have incoming links. So, here's my website. I want to get some links into that. Well, let's say I open up an account at Blogger. It's free. I can set up a very simple little blog site there, and I can send a link to my site. The search engines follow that link, and it's like a vote for my site. It kind of gives strength to it, makes it more valuable. The search engines see that link and think, oh, somebody wants to know what's going on in that site. Must have some value there. Now, let's say that I link to another site. Well, when I have an outbound link, it takes a little strength away from my site. So I have strength coming in and strength going out. But that scenario, that exact situation, is better than having no links at all. Now I have to tell you, the algorithms that the search engines use, they change constantly. And quite frankly, if anybody knew exactly what they were, they'd have a really unfair advantage. So a lot of this is just educated guessing after using systems month after month and year after year. This is actually the best. You've got incoming links, no outbound links. Both of those situations are adding strength to that initial site. It's much, much better. This is reciprocal linking, where one site links to the other, you say to your buddy, hey, link to my site, and he says, okay, and you link to mine. Well, quite frankly, they virtually cancel each other out. I mean, you think about it, it's kind of like, I vote for you, you vote for me. Well, nobody wins in a contest like that. So no real strength is transferred with reciprocal linking. So you take the link from the one site, and if this link is a nofollow link, in other words, if the HTML code includes REL equals quotation marks, no follow quotation marks, well, the search engines basically are going to ignore it. But even a no follow link has value because if people find the link and they click on it, they follow it. So you can still drive traffic, but it's not going to help in your SEO. So this, the blogger linking to the site, is the same basically as this if that link that's circled is a nofollow link. So you take that code, you can put that into the links that are in your site going outbound, make them nofollow links, and all of a sudden you haven't lost any strength. Now one little caveat there, if people are making blog comments, you kind of owe it to them to allow the link that they put up there, their URL that they input, to be a live link. That way it really encourages people making comments. They get a benefit, as do you. So make sure you do it that way. But obviously, if you're sending a link out to maybe an affiliate situation or, or other information, you can make that link a no-follow link. With two inbound links from a site of a PR of zero, and let's talk real quick about PR, page rank, and it doesn't refer to the page, actually. It's Larry Page, one of the Google founders who created a way of measuring the value of a page. So page rank goes really from 0 to 10. Something like Google would have a page rank of 10. YouTube, way up there, page rank of 9 or 10. CNN, that kind of thing, really high page ranks. You have a link from something like that, it's really incredibly valuable, but it's very difficult for you to set up anything like that. You probably have a page rank of N slash A, not applicable, or 0. So these two votes don't count for a lot of strength. I mean, if there were page ranks of three or five, it would really have a huge impact. The two at zero don't. So you put a link from that site to your blogger site that you set up, your blog that you set up free on Blogger. And let's say that you write an article, and you link the article in your resource box. You put a link directly to that second site. Well, what you've done here is you've created more value. That site's more valuable, and that site's more valuable. And as a result of them being more valuable because of the incoming links to them, those two votes now have a lot more strength to them. That's a very important principle. Now, if you even want to go further, if you bookmark the article, those two original votes add even more strength. You see how this continues to build. So, let's say you have a structure like this. You decide to go out, you've got your site in the middle, and you're going to want to build different sites, different 
free blogs, and there are so many avenues for that. So many situations online where you can put something up there free with links that go someplace that you want them to go. So you set up a free WordPress.com site, hub pages, blogger. You take the website that you have, the Squidoo Lens, Weebly. You have that all, each one of them pointing right to your site. Now, if you think about it, that would be rather unnatural if every link that ever was went to your site. And by the way, even further than that, don't have all your links go to your landing page. Have some of the links that you set up go to internal pages. Looks much more natural. Keep in mind that that's what the search engines expect. The more natural it looks, the better off it's going to be received by the search engines. So you get a structure like this. Well, what if you link like this? where you actually send a link from your Squidoo lens to Weebly and then a link from Weebly to WordPress. What you're starting to do is to create lots and lots of links, lots more power. If you look at it, it kind of looks like a wheel, doesn't it? Well, that's why they call that a link wheel. Notice that the end I left open. It doesn't have to be left open there, but since that last site is an actual site, and I might want to get that site ranked as well, then I'll leave that open so it doesn't completely go around. It looks more natural that way. So we take our little link wheel that we just built, the exact one we just looked at, and we build another link wheel around it. We take an article. We point that at the hub pages. Maybe we set up a, an account on Dig, and we put a link to our site. Maybe set up something at LiveJournal. LiveJournal, we link to Blogger and we actually link to the Dig site that we have. And then set something up on Terrapad. We link that to the Squidoo Lens and Dig, we link that to Terrapad. Set up same thing on Tumblr. Maybe YouTube. And by the way, when you put together a YouTube video, the beginning of your description should always have a link. So let's say it's the link that goes directly to the article on the free WordPress.com site that we set up that actually links to hub pages and links to the main site. I mean, you see how all this works. Then we even go further. Let's say we bookmark that article up there. Now, maybe we want that article to rank. So we put the link to the article, the exact link, the exact URL in our Twitter profile and maybe even go further than that and send out tweets on Twitter that go directly to that article. We get the article ranked, the article has more value, all of a sudden the link from that to hub pages is more valuable and of course the link from hub pages to the main site and oftentimes people refer to that as the money site, the site that you actually want people to go to because you monetize it everything becomes more important with a structure like this. Let's say that you go to a blog and you decide to post a comment. Well, rather than posting a comment and listing your regular website landing page as your website URL in that comment, let's say that you put the URL to your YouTube video. So now what you're doing is you're adding strength to your video, which adds strength to your WordPress.com site. It's just all kinds of builds together. You see how exactly that works. Now, obviously, when you take a look at that, it takes time to build the backlinks. You've got to set up the accounts in all these different situations. You've got to put some content up there. You've got to put the links up there. It takes a lot of time. So, automation tools, really, really important. If you go to philipjstone.com, and remember, there's two L's in Philip. If you go to philipjstone.com forward slash super dash tools forward slash, you'll see some of the automation tools that I use to make this happen. Because you got to figure, if you really want to do this well, really want to get results from it, you can't do the whole thing manually. You might want to hire help. There are lots of ways you can do that. There are people online who will write articles for you. There are people actually who you can get. For example, Fiverr.com is a great site. You can get people for five bucks to build small link wheels, all kinds of things. So you can hire out little pieces of this if you'd like to do that as well. Now keep in mind what you want to do. This is all relative to getting ranked for a particular keyword, isn't it? Obviously, that starts with keyword research. You want to analyze your competition as well for those keywords. See who's ranking now. Take a look at what they're doing. Use the SEO Quake that I have in the Super Tools. It's a free plugin. Use that to analyze the competition and see exactly what they've got, what they're doing, so that you can actually do a little bit better than they are. And this is really important. You've got to be consistent. I mean, how odd would it be if you had a site 
and you did a flurry of all this over a period of two, three, four weeks, and then nothing happened for two, three, four months, it wouldn't look normal. So you want to do a little bit at a time, continuing to build, consistent. Now, if you want to read another article, a little bit different perspective on this, go to my site, philipjstone.com forward slash get dash backlinks dash and dash build dash link wheels forward slash. There's an article up there. It has more information, different perspective. Of course, it's written, so that'll help you a little bit too. I'll be right there waiting for you at philipjstone.com. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.